Welcome to a nearly new day in Imperium Galactic Survival. I'm currently stood on the front of my base with probably one of the best views I've had for some time. See, the sun isn't due to come up just yet. And just to give you guys a bit of an update, I've been keeping an eye on this. And it says we got next attack in less than one day. So I'm kind of expecting an attack. And at the same time, I've been working a little bit on my base. And as you can see, I've been texturing it in. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of what I've done. Down here I've quite literally put in everything here. I've textured it in. Everything looks a bit light. Not happy with this, but I want to move this because I've been looking at the container con cargo con boxes here. And what I want to do is move these some of these um, under the base. I also want to do the same with the fuel tanks. I want to rearrange this room before I build anything up. But the problem I've got is that i show you here. I don't have much copper and I think I'm getting a little bit low on iron. I can put some iron in. I want to keep the Fermithium in the uh, SV just in case. And I've actually got a mechanical drill. Where did that come from? Right, that can go in there. Anything else? Mm. I'm kind of loathe to drop these upgrade kits into... In fact, I'm probably going to put these back into the... Oh, no, this is the container controller. Sorry, brain's a bit wiped out. What I could do though is store the thing. Because what I'm going to need to do is get out and let's just offload all these. Don't need all that lots. We probably don't need the emergency oxygen. I've already got some night vision goggles. We don't need that. I'm going to keep the explosives with me. Uh, we keep the rifle upgrade kits the, my, the problem I've got at the moment guys is I, I, I'm kind of wanting to store stuff in the base but at the same time we haven't had a base attack yet so i just a little bit leery about putting my really valuable resources in and while I'm look, just noticing this the call guys a very big thank you for your comments and feedback and suggestions Apologies that I can't actually name the people who did it, but somebody did suggest that I leave the core exposed so if I lose the base it makes it easier to come back and recapture. I've run into a little bit of a perfect storm at the moment with respect to recording because uh, No Man's Sky uh, fever is starting to build. That's proven a bit of a distraction. And of course, just to make life interesting, my normal job has picked up considerably there's a certain political events that are happening in the UK. Even if I say the 31st of October, some of you who live in the UK will know exactly what I mean, but I'm going to keep well away from that subject because it's basically making my life very difficult at the moment from with respect to my workload. It is increasing my workload and it just thinking about it gives me a headache to be honest guys and I just don't want to go there anymore. Anyway, just before I go out and get some resources, I want to give you a bit of an overview of what I've been doing off camera. I've had a little bit of a building session here. I've brought up this area here, and the idea is this will be a farm. That's why it's got this kind of hollowed out look here. I think these are three by sixes, if I'm correctly. And the idea is, is I'm going to come up with a farming level, and then I'll probably put another farming level on top of that. And then what I'm going to probably put on the top is a the bed and various other resources but what I will do is probably put a medical center down in the machine room here but I want to sort this machine room out and what I want to do is, is effectively put all the storage and fuel tanks and even possibly even the generators under the floor so this would be quite a big room and then what I'm also thinking is that because this side will have height eventually we will make this into a another room where we will probably have the furnace and the deconstructor up across the front here um yeah, let's talk a little about defenses uh again say so i had a comment about the, the, the my turrets were very well not very well placed but to be honest these have just been chucked down to give me some support against the first attack but the long-term plan is to have some hanging bastions going off of this corner i mean I've, i have tidied them up but i will we hack this apart so the idea is we'll have a bastion off each corner here 
with a turret on top and a turret underneath maybe even side mounted turrets to basically give fire support down this side and across here in the front in the center up here we will put these two cannons will probably eventually get moved to a center bastion which will come out with a turret on top and a turret underneath so effectively what that will do is give me the equivalent of six cannons facing in this direction for anything that's coming over the in that direction i'm talking quickly guys it is i'm a bit nervous now out the back here what i want to do is take this mound away and the idea eventually is up that high point over there will be a separate defense tower with its own self-contained base but the idea is is to flatten this immediate area off here a little bit not extensively put a frontage along here and then what we'll probably have is a mixture of minigun turrets and sentry guns supported with cannons so that if the Xerax start to come in through here that I have open fields of fire because what I don't really want is say the Xerax to get down in here so I cut so they can't be shot and then hack my base so this area here is going to be hacked away and actually what I'm talking about it guys just going to give you a demonstration big thank you to the person who who show, gave me the tip on how to use the leveling tool and what they said is I haven't tried this so we're going to do it they said what you've got to do is select the, the flattening tool and then stand still and then just take it away like this until it gets the level like that. and then they said what you do is then move out slowly like this I'm going to take the top off with the resource drill because I am a bit low on crushed stone as well. I've got a feeling this base is going to be very heavy on resources. And I don't want to cut this back too low. I just want to get rid of that cover that the Xerax could hide behind. Actually, let's just take this down. I mean, this may actually be necessary for the first base attack. If, they, if it is a troop transport and it does land down here so you can see that now opens up this area here and what we'll do now is we'll just go out now with the lightning tool so. that off I think probably this drill is probably a lot better than trying to do this with the survival one I think we're getting quite good at leaving little spikes like that about seen almost indestructible and just stand back in a bit mm. you can see what that does now oops don't want to fall down the hole that gives me a completely open kill zone now so if the Xerax do come across here, I will be able to basically pick them up. We can put the sentry gun on there to cover this area here. And what, <laughs> what I will probably do is extend this a couple of blocks at like to this gun so that we can mount the sentry guns because eventually this will be all glazed in. I think that's about it, guys. It doesn't look like we're going to get a an attack at the moment just have another quick check see what it's saying so it's still saying less than one day and I think what we're going to do guys is if we go south I can get what I really want is the copper 
We've got an abandoned reactor there and some iron. I think I'm okay for silicon. Let me just have a quick look. We've got plenty of silicon, so what we really need is some copper and iron. And the other thing I'll do is I'm pretty sure one of these two ships out here actually has the grow plots in. So we'll go out and collect some grow plots. So what we're going to do is just hang in here. Turn the thrusters on the fuel. And I think we will go south down to here. So I can have a look at that abandoned reactor as well. I mean, we have had a, a little bit of a side swipe at it. Actually, while I'm out in the air, guys, I'll just give you a little bit of an aerial view of the base if I can actually find it. Level off a bit. So you can see that the base is in a fairly craggy location. We've got this area here, so we may have a problem with if the troop ships come in and land here. So we have to have a defensive front there. Now, I am a little bit concerned about down here. But I'm pretty sure the troop ships won't land here. So what we... So there's a weakness here. So what we may have to do is maybe chop some of this away. But at the same time, I'm, I'm a bit reluctant to do that because I actually like that look. I'm hoping that that will give me enough height to protect the base from um, any attack down here. Though I do have an idea. We could put some additional defences down here. But in, until we actually get a base attack, I, I just don't know how we're going to defend this very well. I mean, we've got a bit of an open flank this side as well, which could be a problem. Here, yeah, so yeah, there's a potential landing point there, which could be a problem. It depends on how fussy the the troop ships are. So, because this is what I'm hoping is that if I leave this flat area up here, the troop ships will be inclined to try and land on the top. But we're just gonna have to see, guys. Anyway, let's just get going over this way. There's the abandoned reactor. Now I can't remember if this is the one where we actually destroyed its defences. So what we will do is we'll just go in and have a little bit of a, a look see. The defences will be around this part here. Nope, looks like this guy is still in business. We've actually got an op a looting opportunity here. Because we can get round and loot the outside. Uh, there's a turret just there. Okay, we've got a drone coming in. There should be another. Come on, game. I'm hitting you smack on. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, see if we can find the crash drone now. Um, somebody actually posted a comment, and they had a very good suggestion. And they suggested that they said that what should happen is when you shoot a drone down, instead of showing the red dot like it used to do, or no dot at all. What they actually said was is that um, you should be the dot should turn to a yellow, and I thought that was a really good idea. I should have just got a flux capacitor there as well. That's I need those for some of the more advanced. I don't think there's much else in this abandoned reactor. We'd have to go inside, and I don't really want to get embroiled in that just at the moment because I do want the copper and whether it's gone. Um, there's the copper deposit over there. Now, as far as I know, we're in safe territory, but you never know, seem to know at the moment there's people. And somebody actually said that you can shoot the trees as well. I never ever thought of shooting trees. 
from a small vessel or a okay, let's just give it a go. Our own direction is blocked, okay. Yeah, so we've we can get in there and grab those logs. Should be able to pick them up with. Uh, there's no point. Gonna, yeah, we got four logs for that. Ah. Okay, let's, let's pick out and let's do a bit of remote forestry. And I've got those extra thrusters burning at the moment as well. Not about that. Uh, I think we're going to leave them on because I want to load the ship up with uh, proper deposits. It's 59 meters. Mm. I don't think I really want to deal with hostiles, so I'm just going to get that. And I'm just going to drill this out, guys, and try and get as much of this copper as pop as possible. So and. We're just going to go see the difference having the drill and picking up there. Right, we've got a nice big wad of copper and, and this is a tip I know Snafu keeps uh, saying to me that, that I should do this. What, what, what he said, well, I've, and I will actually remember to do this now and uh, helps if I actually don't display my uh, Bridge, container controller, copper, let's put this in, back into there, and of course what we're going to do is come here, and what we're going to do is set up, ah, take the stone out, and let me see, what we're going to do is set a hundred of these going, get back to here, come back here, I'm going to take the stone out because I don't want my stone converted to copper or and then again what we're going to do is just whoops and then we're just going to hook that up there and what we should be able to do now mine into here directly and what will happen is that as I'm actually doing this this will get turned into copper ingots which will save me some weight I'm just going to snag this up guys Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mine this out and I'll be right back when it's actually finished. A little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit there. You can see we've now excavated that out completely and I've done it in the middle of a storm. And just to give you guys a bit of a... So we've already made 230, got 700 there. Probably I need to set up some more. Yeah. What we're going to do is just shovel that in there like that, and to stop that stone getting lost, I'll keep it in my normal inventory. And oops, I'm going to break the connection as well. Right here we are. We're just coming up on my base, and you can see the mountains on this side. And but something that is interesting me is this little bit of a slope up here and I'm kind of half wondering whether it would be possible to get a hover vehicle up through here maybe if I do a little bit of modification at these higher points so, then do I really want to get the hover vehicle up here and what I'm going to do is just come in we've got a little bit of daylight left so we're just going to come in here Whoops, I'm just gonna land here, I'm turn the thrusters off. Everything's getting very messy. And I think what we can do is just put you into base here. Oh, I'm gonna just put 390 in there. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket just at the moment. Let's take that out. What I want to do now is just sort out this storage. It's irritating the heck out of me. 
I think we can make cargo boxes in here, can't we? So let me just, yeah, I'm going to make two of those. And actually, while we're looking at it, let's look at, do some tech unlock. I'd like a, another, some fuel tanks. Generator, we need flux cores for that, and that means that I'm going to need, probably need satium. Uh, well, I've got loads, so it's sunlock or this while we're at it. And that, and the medical devices unlocked, air station. ATM could be useful. We've got solar panels that are unlocked as well. Hangar doors. I do really want to move the stuff from there. What I'm thinking is, I don't really want the blocks right on the edge, but I don't want this crowding in. So maybe if I, yes, if I take, maybe if I put in, I want, if I put two sets of blocks like that, <laughs> Uh, whoops, change this to player, put this to base output. Um, yeah, I think we can just do it with the play menu. It's a bit cumbersome, but and that can be there. And what I want to do is just put those two in like that. And then I'm going to pick up. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I should have. A bit stupid there of me. I've got it's a large constructor, so it wouldn't have. And what I'm to want to do is put this on top, like this, because I don't want this right in the edge. Because what I will probably do is put change this wall to armoured blocks because I don't want to go out any further like this and what I want to do is go vertical and what I might do is put a secondary layer here eventually so we'll have that there and that's going to irritate me so let's cancel that up that which is this is another reason why I wanted to actually move the constructor because you can see the edges here and that makes them very annoying I'm just going to pick you up and we don't need the drill just at the moment and what we're going to do is just pop you there and so we've now got these cargo boxes hidden underneath Gonna do a kind of quick auto group so I know where all the cargo was. It originally says cargo box three, three of three. Ooh. Okay. We'll call you constructor in and. So you don't want you from there. I put everything into here like that, and then oh, whoops. Uh, this okay. We're gonna call you constructor out. That and base, and then we're going to shove all of you in here, and that means that what I should be able to do now is pick these up without them dropping anything. And of course, we're going to fix the floor and the wall. That's all done very nicely. And I 
something behind this cargo box here is perhaps uh, if I pick up the cargo box, I'm just going to interfere with the ammunition. I think what we will do is with, this time we'll go this way with the cargo boxes. Um, you can go there. You can go there. And what these will be my overflow supplementary storage. And then the idea is that I can then when I put the underfloor container extensions, they can come out through here like this. Oh, well, that's the idea anyway. RV says that maybe another cargo box. But I think that will work because what I could probably do here is put the advanced constructor onto the top of this and just leave that box there. And this box would just be for general rubbish and other things and eventually of course this will be buried quite well I think the next thing I want to do is just move this in fact let's just make um, you hook the constructor in constructor out mm, I think what we I want here is another one of these and what we're going to do is make about 10 of these And pick this up here. And we can use these to we put them each side like that. Yeah, I think we can put one each side like that. And then again, do these actually produce radiation? They might do. Maybe we'll put these out here like that then. Put one on each side. Just for that corner there. It's, it's a strange feeling actually because I'm, I'm building this up as a permanent base but there's, until that first base attack comes in, there's part of me that says you're building a base that you could end up losing. And I'd like to put the fuel tanks. Where would I put the fuel tanks? Because I want a space across here. Which lines up roughly with this area here. In fact, let's just check. Go up to here. Let's make sure we've got the right position. Fine. Leave a block there. Huh. Maybe that isn't the right position. And it's just. No, so that's actually wider. So the room, oh, we can actually go into the wall with the upright, can't we? Okay. Ah. Yeah, I think, oh, come off again. Yeah. I think we can work around this by... That's the next next thing we're going to do is just the structure in, structure out. And I'm just going to make a couple of more fuel tanks if I can find them. I can never find the fuel tanks in here. There they are. That's it. We're going to make a couple of those. And we're a little bit low on food, so make shade, bridge. Pop a couple of steaks. Just keep think, waiting for that clang, 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 saying base attack immediate. What I'll do, guys, is I'll just do this little bit of work. If it doesn't pan out very much here, I mean, if I, I've made seven out of them. 
Do I think what we're going to do is just come up here and we'll just put some solar panels out. Not that they're going to be much good, but you up, come here. Now this is the east, so what I'm thinking is for the moment, again it may become subject to change. What I'm going to do is put maybe on maybe a bit a bit steep there. These have different heights and widths. Yeah, they're like slightly lower yeah I think we're putting one on each side slightly lower like that that means that they have a bit more angle towards the the sun and then we'll have us the a flat one there that one there and a flat one there And maybe we'll just put one on each side like that, flat to the the wall. I don't want them sticking out because they may attract. They will catch the early morning sun, and as the sun comes up and over, then eventually they will go up, be less efficient. I think that will work. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we got three left. So that move me out of the way. Mm. No, will they? Will there any of them fit? Uh, no, the guns are going to be in the way. I have to move the guns. I don't want to move the guns just at the moment. What I could do is put one of out. There, on the front there, and we'll put another one about there for the moment, and maybe we'll just drop another one on this side. Again, as I say, this is just to put some power into the base to start with. I'll probably move stuff around because we're certainly going to need probably need to move this once we bring out the. The floating bastions yeah. so that should give me some battery power to ease off the pressure on the generators and then say it will be all changed and I'm gonna pick up a few fuel tanks and what we're gonna do is um, I think what we're going to do is just drop the fuel tanks into here. One, two, there. And that means I can now take up. Oops. I'm going to pick up these two. My fuel should be still good. Now, the problem is if I arch over here and this and that's not gonna get out of there just to see where that comes up so that comes up there that's not too bad actually so if I can just some concrete blocks well. we can bring the elevator up here we've got a little bit of gap there so let me just we're going to need to Oops. No. 
Oh, let's just get the drill going. And it's just going to pick out a little bit like that. And just take that back a little bit. Like that. So that we got a clean edge around here. We've got 16 blocks to play with. And I put him back on. I can put a solid floor in there. Put you just like that. And you across like that. And we should be able to get in. And get another block in. Yeah, like that. And run that way around. And get a solid block in like that. Get some. that would disappear anyway. Oops. And I think just to make sure this looks nice and bright for that in like oops no. Nope. Um put the floor in like that. And the So we've now got a shaft up here for the actually that's wrong. And Probably that's a bit better. Stuff like that. Yep. Oops. Ah. Hurt myself. And just break this. Just to finish this part up, guys, just so that things are pretty neat and tidy. There's one, two, three. Just one, two, three should be enough. And we're just going to put the shaft in here so that I can get up this side. And of course, eventually we'll have armored doors here. And okay, two of them already. And I think we should be able to build this from top down. So we'll put that one in first and go down and then put you there. We actually need two more. <laughs> so we'll in here, access. Make me another one, please. And no, not there. In there, and we'll just put the final one in. Once it's finished, it shouldn't take long to build. And I mean, we're gonna have to move this generator away. We'll probably put the generators up here. In fact, I could probably put it in the floor here, the small generators. But then I would ideally prefer to have a large generator so we could shove them up there. So I'm just going to have to put up with the radiation to start at the moment. That gives me access up this path here. I've got two ways up now, should I need it. But just let's just have a quick check. Still says base attack less than one day. So, but I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. Sorry that I didn't get the base attack that I was hoping for, but that's something we will have to work towards in the next part. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.